All right, guys, we pushed our way further down the valley. Um, we effected some repairs on our mechs and added a few of the new things in. You'll get to see Steve's uh, new loadout here in a few seconds. Um, but on the way down here, there's a couple of uh, facilities here that are actually military facilities. Now, the Torians have been feeding us information. They're telling us that they've got reinforcements here. So there's one just actually past this location, just down this down here. Can't really see it from up here, but from along here, um, there's one juicy um, uh, warehouse that's down there. It's got a lot of stuff in it. So we're making our way there. This is really the last opposition that we have to worry about. Um, so we're going to take this uh, uh, base here and then wipe out any resistance and then continue along. So that's what our goal is right now. So we're just going to move in. Yeah. Now, Rocky's in the rave back. We got this mech back up and running. I dropped in a lot of the bonus medium lasers that we had lying around. So she's got a much, much better chance to hit. I also pulled out one medium laser um, to put in a TTS. So it gives us even a better chance to hit. And I also dropped out one heatsink and put in one of the the, uh, the light exchanger that we had in the Jager mech. Because we put the heavier exchanger in for the Jager mech. And you'll see his loadout in a second here. I'm receiving you. All right, Hellcat. Sprint along. Nothing really changed in this mech. The other thing too, um, uh, in um, or sorry, uh, Savage Steve now has the Warlord ability, and you can see here we got three PPC double pluses in a medium laser. Um, now remember also too, we've got the uh, PPC capacitor in here. Um, so yeah, this is this mech hopefully is going to turn out really good. Uh, we've got two targeting computers in here, um, two TTSs. We've got um, the targeting computer in the head, um, the pirate one with plus three to hit. So that's going to be awesome. So I'm hoping that these PPCs really start landing, and then with the warlord ability, we should be able to capitalize on uh, some good damage. It'll be 80 80 damage per hit at least. Okay, we got a vehicle up here. Let's keep our eyes up. Moving out. Seems pretty quiet so far. I was expecting a lot more resistance. Can't get eyes on from over there, so let's not get eyes on at all. In case they have guys on the hill back here. Which they normally do. Commander. We gotta get out of this water so we can get some movement going. Most of our mechs are really heat neutral. Steve is slightly over. I think he's like three or four heat over per turn. The Hunchback now is under per turn. It's like five under, so I can continuously fire all the medium lasers all the time. All medium lasers all the time! Okay, we're out of the water. Now we can start moving. I want to try and punish these guys really fast. Warning. Ah, crap. Push it forward. What else do we got? Another vehicle. Doesn't look like any turrets. So we're probably going to be facing reinforcements here. Now, Torian said that the, the uh, difficulty is around three skull here. So I don't know if um, we're going to be encountering some heavy resistance or what. Maybe they pulled some of the units away to go defend that, that base that we're approaching. I'm not sure. Let's hope they're really light and we can blow these guys aside and get through this really fast. Oh, it's a 100 ton vehicle. With a thunderbolt, probably. Yep. Two thunderbolts. Wonderful. Warning. Armor low. Yes, I know. 75 ton mech, okay. Okay, what do we do? You can use the Thunderbolt on us again. Gotta get that vehicle fast, so let's just move over here and brace. Okay, Rocky, get me some eyes on that guy. There you go. What do we got here? Demolisher 2. Pair of Thunderbolt 20s. Dump everything into this guy, please. He's got a crap ton of armor. 
Wow, it's a good thing we put all those uh, targeting improvements in your mech. <laughs> what the hell was that? It's intimidation is what that was. 70 tonner. Okay, Hellcat. See what we're up against here. Pike. We double hit this guy, we could take him out. Let's try and remove the pike. Um, and I am going to Warlord on this one. I want to get this guy gone. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but still it's going to add up over time. And it's easy to remove this guy from the map. God damn it, really? Can we get eyes on? We can put a Thunderbolt on him though. Let's stay in the... Uh, yeah, let's stay there. Multi-target. This guy. This guy. And... Yeah. Fire. Firing on Come on, hit him. Yes! Yeah, that building. There was some threatening infantry in that building. That's why we had to target it. Stop shooting me! God damn it! They destroyed the PPC capacitor for fuck's sakes! I just put that thing in there couple of missions ago. Really? Oh. I am sad. Oh, yeah. Gotta give them another target to shoot for here. Let's burn this guy. Okay, good shooting. How do we do, though? This is still all white. Mjolnir, wonderful. Go away. Do we actually... <laughs> how do we do? Like, we reduced it by like a hundred and... some odd. Is that a Warhammer? Looked like it was a Warhammer. Orion, okay. Kind of looks like a Warhammer. Well, we didn't do too bad. I mean, we got the side and the stuff. We got the stuffs. You got to sprint. We can't not sprint. All right. Blast that friggin' Thunderbolt carrier. We got to get rid of this guy. You missed with one of the PPCs. Come on. You're killing me here. Okay, you changed targets. That's a good thing. Uh huh. Good luck with that. See what he does. Yeah, of course. Standing by. <sighs> Roger. He's gonna walk up. Target this guy with everything and fire. He's really the threat right now. Come on, hit. Yes. I'm waiting for one of those machine guns to hit and say, you know, destroyed uh, one of the Thunderbolts. Gotta sprint this. He's gonna target me again no matter what I do, so. Um, Warlord, fire everything on this guy. With our capacitor gone, we're doing a lot less damage, but. Ah, at least they all hit. Nice. Okay, so that's the front. 79 left. Come on, Rocky. You can want to be a hero? You can be a hero! Dump everything straight into this guy's face. Come on. Can certainly hit that front really well. Oh my God! They're wrecking the, <laughs> they're wrecking everything. Stop! I'm gonna get rid of this friggin' Jager mech. I swear to God, it's just a money pit. Stop wrecking my mech. 
Uh huh. When isn't my armor low? That's the question. Have you ever been in a match with me where my armor hasn't been low? Let's push them. Double Screw you guys. Double. We're going to shoot this demolisher again. Fire away. That looks like it might be it. Yep. Thank God. Finally. Reporting one less vehicle. Yes, Commander. All right. All Who right. do we start off on? Um, PPC Gauss Rifle Large, AC-10, 1100 and something, 11, 1080, this guy's a little lightly armored, lighter armored, wait, we have a better chance to hit the Orion or this guy? I should just be watching that, I think. Yeah, let's go after the Orion, I guess, and fire. Nice shooting, finally. Get the hell out of there, Steve, man. Let's get to a point back here where we can see them, but they can't see us eventually, hopefully, at some point. Yagamex so looks so berserkly weird with uh, no weapons in its arms. Okay, Rocky. Let's show them why we're here. Dump everything in this side of this guy. Let's move into here. I don't want to get down in the water where they can see us. I want to stay in the woods. I'm gonna dump it on this guy and fire. Nice! Okay, we hit. Unstable. Do we go again? Nope, he goes. And of course, he's an ace pilot, because why wouldn't he be? Okay, he's overheating. Did he lose all the stability? Or all the instability? Wow, nice shot. Love the look of that Gauss rifle when it pens like that. It's pretty cool. He lost all his instability. Oh, he didn't lose all of it. Okay. You guys are in trouble, man. You really need to start making mechs that are really heat efficient. Okay, let's work on making this guy unstable. Fire. Confirmed. I think I prefer to have Orion parts over the Mjolnir parts. Alright, Steve, just stay back here. You don't need to move in. Got them PPCs. Just dump them on this guy, please. Engaging target. Okay, there goes the leg. So that should mean we go before him. Everyone should go before him next turn, I think. Probably. Yeah, he's got a lot of negatives there. Crippled, minus 10 initiative, prone, injured. Alright, let's... Um, I want to max salvage from this guy, so we want to take his leg off. But I think the first thing we want to do... Um, is make this Mjolnir pay. For choosing the wrong side in this battle. He was the chosen one. Roger. They don't understand. He was the chosen one. Now he's going to die. Him I've got. Wow. Well, low chances to hit and five of them hit. Nice. Wow. This is going to be uh, large dollar values to repair. Hope we're in shape for that uh, warehouse. Hopefully they got some stuff up there that we can use. Okay, Hellcat. Um, let's move over here. Confirmed. Target this guy. Let's go for the leg and fire. All weapons are good. Shoot the leg. Shoot the leg only, please. Come 
on, where are you? Here you are. No, yeah, we got one hit. Not what I, uh, not as much as I wanted, but we got one hit. Actually, just go with Steve next. I don't think he needs to move. He's probably got the best chance to do this, so let's just do it. Both legs gone. Nice. Max salvage off that guy. Let's get this meal near out of here now. Fire everything on him. Yep. Come on, hit that. Yes. I think that was a leg hit too. It was a leg hit. Nicely done. What's up, boss? Let's not give him too much. Let's move to here. Gonna try and push this leg. Let's fire on it. Wow, we only got one that time. Well, it is a rave. It's hard to target in the dark, I guess. Yeah, here's the melee attack. Oh, good, good stuff. Helps that we're both in the forest. Okay, how much morale do we have left here? Not a whole lot. This is what, 10 or 12? 10. We got what? Eight round, eight per round. Uh, what's our chance to hit this guy? Ah, uh, pretty darn low. We're just gonna fire. Okay, Hellcat, let's work on the instability. Just gonna fire. Uh, we wanna Warlord this one right now? Nah, we're just gonna fire. Okay, nice shots. And Steve. Uh, what's our chance to hit here? Pretty darn low. Um increase it with that a little bit and fire yeah well we had to take the chance all right rock this putz wants to melee you let him melee you but uh, make sure you got your back to the wall so we can't attack you from behind uh, we're gonna push him again let's go after that leg Okay, two hits. Ah, not bad. Both of them in the leg, it looked like, anyway. Are we pending that leg? We are. 62 left. Ready for orders. Couple of good solid shots, I think will do it. Let's just fire straight on him. Trying to make him unstable here. It'll be easier to target that leg if we knock him down. I think he's panicking now because there's the four of us and only one of him. Where are you going? Probably a wise move. Alright, we're going to move over here. And we're just going to straight up target him and fire. Wow. Wow. That was crazy. They All three of them hit. One of them was in the leg, too. Yes, Commander. Hmm. Is there a better place we can hit this guy from? Everywhere is blocked, it looks like. So let's not sprint. Let's just walk it over to here. All right. And what do we got here? Pretty low chances to hit. Let's Warlord it. And push it. And see if we can go for the leg. Oh, nice, nice, nice! It's going down! Critical hit, Commander. Nicely done. Maybe we can take the other leg now. Okay, this guy's not going very far, so we're just going to move over here. 
Target him from this side, going after this leg. 37% chance, but we've got really good chances to hit. Thank God for the targeting computers, and I don't think any of those hit that leg. Find out here in a second. Did we get the leg? I don't even think so. What's the point? Alright, not even going to move, just going to fire from here. Let's go for the leg. We're either going to get it or we're not going to get it, I don't know. Probably going to blow him up now. What's he got left here? We still haven't hit the damn leg. <laughs> uh, just shoot the leg. How much has he got left to CT? 74. We either get it or we don't. Left torso? Okay, well, we might get some parts out of that. Alright, Steve. Bring your shell of a mech up here. Smoke coming off it. Alright, let's capture this base. Move on down the valley. And yeah, we can't quite get <laughs> into this turn. Ah, no biggie. Alright, we're just going to brace here. Alright, let's get this base. And there we go. Captured. Let's get out of here, guys. I'm receiving you. Confirmed. Holding and cooling. The asset is in hand, it sure is. Let's get out of here. Alright, we didn't make many much sea bills off this, but we did get lots of salvage on the ground. Um, Jager mech took a bunch of damage. Wow, it was down to seven. Seven. Well, we've been down to one before, like the arm and stuff, so we lost our PPC capacitor. The one thing that we had going for us, and it's gone. <sighs> That's still one of the one of the main reasons why I made this build was because we had the PPC capacitor. All right, let's see if we get one in the in the uh, salvage here. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not gonna say no to that. That's a free mech right there, so it's kind of worth it then. All right, let's see what else we can get here. Um, Thunderbolt 20s. Now, we still have one of these guys. So, regular XL engine. I'm not going to say no to that because of the value of it. Um, we've got... Now, do we have double heat... We do have a double heat... We've got two of these left. Okay, good. Because we're going to need it for this guy. TTS ballistic, TTS indirect. Plus three indirect accuracy. Now, if we make a loadout with two of these Thunderbolt 20s. We got one of these left, don't we? We do, but we lost one. So we're going to need this for the for the Grasshopper, for the Mjolnir, whatever it is. Definitely going to need that. Um, yeah, we'll wait on the mech part see what we get, but I think um, I want to take another... Th Engine, maybe? I don't know. It's such ballistic. I think we have one of these kicking around, so we're okay there. Maybe we do take another Thunderbolt. I'm just toss out between the Thunderbolt and the engine. Let's take the Thunderbolt. Yeah, let's go this route. Let's confirm and see what we get here. Alright, so we, we, it was a good thing we took the Mjolnir part. One, two, three, four Orion parts. Now, I don't know if we have any other variants of Orion kicking around in the storage, but we might. Streak SRM6, not bad. XL, we already, we took we chose that, so a couple of AC. Uh, well, we didn't get much. The best thing was the Orion parts, so. Alright, there it is there. Of Tor Miraborg. The Mjolnir is primarily armed with a PPC in the right arm, Gauss rifle on the left arm. Keeps the jump jets, torso mounted medium laser, 280 XL. Improved Gauss and PPC damage. Well, hello there. That's cool. Maybe we switch out the um, PPC build from the Jager mech to this guy. And I'll make it the new command mech. 60 grand for repairs. That's actually a lot less than what I thought it was going to be, although we lost the PPC capacitor, so yeah.
All right, guys, so let's have a quick look in the mech bay here. Mjolnir. So we lost the core. That's fine. We got lots of cores. Let's uh, repair all. What do we get out of this? We got a PPC. The endo steel, which is good. Although we took so we took the endo steel, the extra endo steel for nothing. Medium laser. Yeah, not a whole lot. Let's strip it all. Where are we here? Strip it all and let's leave it at that for now. We'll get this thing repaired up and then we'll start building it. We got to pull off one more mission in this valley here before uh, we figure out what we're going to do. But it's got increased Gauss damage, so we got the Gauss rifle we can put in this thing. Um, so we've got what? Two laser, four laser, six laser points, one ballistic point. That's, oh, seven laser points. So I mean, we could put two PPCs in this arm and the Gauss rifle in this arm. With the increased damage, strip everything out of the uh, Jager mech. No matter what I seem to build on that Jager mech, nothing really seems to work all that well. I mean, I guess the best thing would be to get some of these bonus um, Gauss rifles and put one on each arm. Or a pair of Ultra 10s, I think, would probably be the best loadout for it. Um, but yeah, we'll have to figure this out, I think. Um, we're going to confirm this and get this sucker repairing. So we're going to have to uh, manage our tasks a bit better here. Jagermax has got to come up to the top because we got to replace the uh, PPC capacitor, as I say it very solemnly. Um, it's going to be a little while, I think, before we're back up and running at full speed here. Victor, rave back. So we should be able to get everything up and running in 10 days. Let's move the Mjolnir up one, leave this Hunchback down one, so we can get in getting fixed earlier. Nothing else really took any major damage here. So that's how we're going to run it, I think. Just like that. So we're pretty close to our financial report, I think. 17 days, so we'll be able to pull out that last mission before the end of the month. And then we'll get their Mjolnir up for the next month. And uh, we can move planets and maybe go take on that... Um, that, uh, what's it called? Oh, the flashpoint. Sorry, brain's not working today. Just got home from work a little while ago. So yeah, so we're going to go take on the Brockway flashpoint, I think. Uh, we got plenty of mechs now. Uh, our pilots are gaining experience for our second lance. We do almost have enough mechs right now in the mech bay for, for two lances. However, we do uh, still have some mechs in storage here. Um, I think we've got black. What do we got here? Centurion and Wolverine we've got. So we're okay there. Um, so we'll get one of those out. Probably this, maybe the Centurion will pull out. I don't know. Uh, I'm not really sure which one yet. We could turn the Wolverine into a melee mech, but we've already done that in our other series. So maybe we pull out the uh, Centurion and make another hard hitter. The uh, what I used to do with the Centurions is throw um, the SRM sixes, three SRM sixes in the torso, with um, the like the bonus damage ones, so that we were doing 12 damage per. Uh, SRM six, but I don't know if there's the, the plus four SRM plus four damage SRM sixes anymore. But we'll put some bonus damage SRM sixes in it. If we can find some SRM six dead fire ammo, we'll throw it in there, make it a, a, a close range uh, hitter. So that's the option for that's for the Centurion. So we'll look at probably doing that. Okay, guys. So we're gonna end the episode here. If you like it, drop a like. If you can think of a way we can uh, load out this uh, Mjolnir. Uh, I'm still, like I said, I'm still thinking maybe two PPCs and a Gauss rifle. Depending on the weight, I'm not 100% sure if we can actually do that or not. But uh, it might be an option. Um, and I'm thinking about once the Jagermax finish this next mission, maybe stripping this stuff off this guy first and rebuilding the Mjolnir with what we have on him and then just rebuild the Jagermax. Uh, maybe we'll use this to command mech in the, in the second lance. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. And we'll keep the... Um, the two hunchbacks that we have right now in the main lance, the PPC version and the rave back. And we'll put the MML, the um, uh, Jager mech, the Centurion, and then the uh, Crab in the second lance. But that's just my thought. Anyway, if you have any thoughts, drop it in the comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.